A leadoff triple, but she's looked very composed with two straight swing and strikeouts. Can she strand the runner on the base pass? This one's up the middle, pass to go to Shroud. Coming in, Rosowicz goes over, low throw, but Martin, a great adjustment. Just like that, a leadoff triple is stranded on the base pass. A gut punch for Lords, but the Crusader offense trying to get the, the momentum going. not a bad choice. It is, what a pitch and what a foul tip into the glove of Ming. Mason Shroud, strikeout number three, a leadoff base knock. Does not matter for 2-9. Well, runner on first, Smith trying to avoid any buildup to could lead to any damage right away, and it won't happen there. It's drilled on the right field line to the corner, reaching over. It'll hop to the wall. Delayed running is Thomas. She'll go all the way to third. Right behind her, hitting the brakes at second. It's a double for the freshman Peschke. That bat has been scorching. Trying to crack this game open. It's still scoreless at zero. But a 3-1 count, the base is loaded with no out. Outside puts it up the middle, past the outstretched glove him again. It should score two. Rounding, but now getting the red light is Goth. And the throw was into the base pass, so it would have been interesting. But it's an RBI single. And in game one, she also had a single. That one's off the edge of the bat. It might find turf going back. It will. Takes a weird spin in the foul territory. And she'll make it a two-bagger. Keeps the hot streak Roll going. Oregon, the Lister got the air as this one's hit into left field. It might find turf charging in. It will. Takes a weird hop over Smith. It'll score one, and it will be three for Pesky. She slides into third with an RBI triple. Field. This one's knocked on the ground through the hole at short. It'll score two. The throw won't even come home with a two RBI bases clearing single for Braley Martin. It's seven to nothing. Wagons delivers this one. It's drilled to left field over Richardson. Off the glove. It'll end the game. Two runs will score. No, we'll count it at one. But it's an RBI single to lead game one with an 8-0 victory. Reagan Finkbeiner sends us the game two on MUCrusaders.com. Cleary up in their respective game. The one-two pitch chop back up the middle will find outfield turf. Harris will score easily. The throw is not even remotely close. It's an RBI single for Faith Peschke. Her hot weekend continues. Had three singles and a walk in game one, including the Mercy Rule RBI single. Puts this one over to second on the ground, off the glove of Wagner. She'll get the first safely. Two runs will score. Runners at the corners now, as now going to second and stealing it. Oh, what a play. Give her the bag at second. Goth turns on a line drive left field in the corner. It'll at least score one. Coming around is Martin, and the red light's going to be given to Thomas, but it's an RBI double for Goth and insurance for the Crusaders Finally here. Able to get one with a ground ball out. And this one's going to be chopped through the hole. It's off the glove, excuse me, of Gonzalez. But it'll at least be one bag of wine. Turn from Rosowicz. She stays at first. It's eight to three. Here the third batter up into the first two. Grounded out to third. This one's high in the air to center field. Peschke under it makes the grab. And the Crusaders, for the first time since 09, have won 40 games. On the